What's up Safari Nation and welcome back to yet again another Digino Thursday. Today we are going to be discussing whether or not hyenas are more closely related to dogs or to cats. What do you think? <laughs> This hyena what would you say if I had to ask you whether or not this hyena is more closely related to a cat or a dog most people would lean more towards a dog right I mean you can even name him spot but hyenas are in fact more closely allied to cats than they are to dogs <laughs> I know right I mean look at it now look at a dog now look at it again now look at a cat I mean, what? Come on. So how are hyenas more closely related to cats than dogs? Well, to understand that, we quickly need to talk about taxonomy. Taxonomy is a formal scientific system used to classify and name every living organism from single celled microscopic organisms and fungi to plants, even animals, everything needs to be classified. Think of it as a family tree of the world and everything that lives in it. And by using this system, we can identify who is related to who and why. Every mammal gets classified in seven steps and it starts very broad and narrows down more and more until you get to an individual species. So think of like a funnel system or an upside down triangle. Let's quickly look at these seven steps. It all starts with the kingdom. So that includes everything, the single celled organisms, the fungi, the plants, the animals, everything. Then you get phylum. Now phylum refers to the actual structure of the organism. So for example, insects are called arthropods because of their exoskeleton and mammals are termed as chordates because they have a spinal cord. Then you get class. This is where animals with similar traits are put together like amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Then after class you get order and these are animals with similar characteristics like all carnivores or all animals that ruminate or like all primates. Then you get family. Now these are the different kinds of families found within that specific order. So think of the various monkeys, bush babies and lemurs within the primate order. Then second to last you get the genus which is commonly known as the animal's surname and species which is the specific name for a specific species. Now let's break down a hyena's classification and what it'll look like. Because it's an animal and not a plant under kingdom we will put animalia. Under phylum we'll put chordata because it has a spinal cord and under class it'll be mammalia because it's a mammal. Then after class it'll be order and that will be carnivora because it's a meat-eating mammal. The order carnivora is split up into two suborders for land carnivores known as Feliformia and Caniformia. Feliformia being cats and Caniformia being dogs. The suborder for a spotted hyena is Feliformia and then the family is what's known as Hyenidae. Now the family is also split up into a few subfamilies but just know that a spotted hyena is in the Hyenidae subfamily. And then finally you get the genus which is Crocuta and the species Crocuta. So if you compare a lion's taxonomy to that of a spotted hyena, you'll see that the difference only comes in with the last three steps, the family, genus and species. But you'll notice that the suborder is actually still the same, Feliformia. And if you compare a spotted hyena's classification to that of a true dog, like a black-backed jackal for example, you'll notice that the difference comes in at the suborder level. So true dogs are Caniformia. So even though hyenas are more dog-like in appearance, scientists have come to know that they are actually more closely related to cats. And this is more from a genetical point of view rather than looking at the physical attributes. 
All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to get back to you. And if you want to see more videos like this, click up this side and make sure that you like this video and smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss the next episode. But for now, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And then I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.